What is up you guys, my name is Samantha Renee with Fandomverse Comics, back with more comic book news. So today I will dive into all the new releases that will be out later this week for DC, Marvel, and all the indies. But I also want to dive into the comics I did collect this week as well, once I finally got a chance to catch up on. And then I also did receive a sweet gift that I'll share at the end. But yeah, stay tuned. What is up you guys? So before I do talk about all the new releases that will be coming out this week, I do want to talk about what I collected from the previous week for my comic, my own comic book collection. I'm really digging this whole Endless Winter thing, so I had to make sure I got all three chapters that came out recently. Made sure I got the covers that I really loved as well. So we do have Aquaman number 66. Next on the list is going to be Justice League number 58, and I got the B cover because I love Wonder Woman's outfit along with Batman's. And we have Teen Titans special number one, which I don't really collect Teen Titans, but I love Endless Winter, and I don't want to miss anything really. So I made sure I got those. Next, um, I got Batman 105, which really I was pretty disappointed about. For this being the final chapter to Batman before Future State, the ending was just kind of like, what? Like, really? That's how it's going to end? Like, the whole synopsis build up, I was like, oh, this is going to be good. And it was kind of like, the best part was Harley Quinn and um, Bo, Clown Hunter's interaction with what happened there, their conversation. But other than that, I was kind of sad with the ending. It was just like, so cheesy and kind of lame. I was like, oh, my heart. Anyways, I did grab Dark Knight's Death Metal 6, which is getting close to the end of Death Metal. Um, Death Metal's ending with number 7, but I wanted this cover right here because I love everything Swamp Thing. So to me, I needed this cover in my collection. And Catwoman number 28, which is the final issue for Catwoman before Future State as well. But I liked... I didn't like the previous issue all that much, but this issue kind of redeemed itself with the ending. I like the strays. They're kind of the whole way they worked with Catwoman. So those were all the comics I did collect for myself. All right, you guys, and now let's dive into the comics that will be coming out on December 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve, mind you. But yes, so the first one on my list is gonna be a behemoth comic, and that is A Girl Walks Home at Night, I believe. Yes, number two, which is a two-part thing. If you collected the first one, you have, next will be the final issue this week. Uh, the covers, when I was snagging covers for this video, I was like, have I not added this to my collection? I now need to add this number two and find number one because now it caught my attention and I'm like, okay, I like dark, creepy horror comics. I'm going to snag that. But next on my list is going to be actually a DC comic and that is going to be Action. 1028 will be out this week as well. More of the Superman, Superman family characters and I believe that's the final issue as well. All right, and next on my list is going to be Batman Beyond number 50. 50? Yes, number 50. And I'm terribly sad because Batman Beyond's coming to an end before Future State. I think that's actually it with Terry McGinnis. We will see if he plays a part in Future State. I don't know. But we do see Wonder Woman pop up, and I feel like she's popping up quite a bit this week. Uh, I do feel like they're playing more into the whole fact that she's immortal. Uh, we'll see a lot more of that in Future State because she looks the same all the way and if you look at the timeline of future state like all the way at the end it's like okay but anyway let's go back into batman beyond so anyways terry is they think he's guilty of a crime that he may or may have not committed and wonder woman makes an appearance in this issue to find out the truth if he did it or not and will they become enemies friends foes i don't know but anyways that will be out this week as well Let's dive into another DC comic, Batman White Knight Harley Quinn number book three, Black Label. And I'm going to talk about that one because I dig this whole White Knight thing with the Harley Quinn. I love the, I think more than I actually like the current story that like what's going on with Starlet and this whatever villain, um, I just love the backstories with her and Joker and how they tie in this creative relationship before he became the Joker. And I'm starting to be okay with the whole Batman, Harley Quinn, weird love interest thing. But anyways, that will be out this week as well. Let's dive into some not so DC stuff. Next one on my list is going to be Department of Truth number four, which I got to talk about Department of Truth for a second because each book has been very different. 
I'm all for Department of Truth, but each book I'm just like, yeah, this gets me excited. And then I read the next one, I'm like, different, but still gets me excited. And then I read the third one, I was like, okay, you're very different. Talking about current stuff, which is cool, but how are these all tying together? We'll have to wait and see. So book four, I read the synopsis, and, I, and again, I think it's going to be kind of a different thing. But I'm still here for it because the whole fact that they're diving into current stuff that are happening in conspiracy theories. So I'm just like, you still have suckered me in and I will read you anyways. Next is going to be Ice Cream Man number 22, which is an image comic for sure. And if you don't know Ice Cream Man, he's basically like this Ice Cream Man demon character, I want to say. But each issue is very, very different, very dark and twisted. It's a horror comic that I do love. I actually have one of the trades here. So yes, he looks sweet and friendly, but no, these are dark, twisted stories that are bloody most of the time and just very disturbing, but like, I love it. So not gonna hold it up too long. You gotta figure it out for yourself. All right, and next on my list is gonna be King in Black book two. So if you're, whole, if you're digging this whole King in Black thing, the second book is here, which I feel like they're really rushing it out because of what happened with COVID and things like that. But yes, so book two is already here. We got four amazing covers that I will share. I think it's either three or four, but anyways, I'll share those. And all it basically says in the synopsis, Hail the King. If you're in for that, there's a few couple other books I'll be diving into King of Black as well. I'll share those a little bit later. Next will be Maestro number five, which is the final issue because it was a five part thing. And so number five is here. Yes, if you're digging that, that'll be out this week. Detective. So we have Detective, what is the number? 1033, that will be out this week. And if you do see the cover, that means the mirror is back. But I really want to know what did happen to Red Hood since he was laid up on a table with his organs about to be removed. Did I just say that? Anyways, so I really need to know what happens with Hush, the Bat family, the mirrors back um, in this issue as well, as you can see from the cover. And I'm pretty sure Batman's going to try and figure out what to do with the city since pretty much the whole city hates the Bat family. And I think this is going to be a final issue. So I'm excited for that. So the first one I want to talk about, I'm going to go a little bit out of order just because I want to keep an endless winter in order. So we're going to go Justice League Dark number 29, which is actually chapter seven to endless winter. And I'm pumped for that one because just because of the cover, you see the cover with the swamp thing from the past over here, you see Zantana kind of like buried in the snow and then you see Wonder Woman. So the reason why I'm excited about that cover is because Wonder Woman's part of Justice League, Zantana's part of Justice League Dark, and then the Swamp Thing is from this group of heroes from the past, which was like Swamp Thing, Black Adam, Viking Prince, and who am I missing? Oh, Queen Hippolyta, yes. So the reason why I'm pumped is because at the end of chapter six of Endless Winter, which was Teen Titans special number one, Flash and Donna Troy, like, boom, for, anyways, they popped up in Thermoscara to talk to Queen Hippolyta, basically saying, Donna was saying, like, do you remember that story you told me about this Frost, basically Frost King? And so, yeah, it left off. It ended there, and I'm like, ooh, they're going to dive into how they defeated the Frost King. If, like, yeah, that's why I'm just like, I need more info. But the next one that follows, that is going to be Black Adam special number one, which is chapter eight to Endless Winter. So I'm here for Black Adam because, yeah, I just like his character and I want to know more of how they actually defeated Frost King. So that will be out as well. i share all those together. But yes, let's take a step back from DC and dive into something else. So then this is one that everybody keeps telling me I need to read and I still haven't. I'm sorry, you guys, which is Scumbag number three, which is basically about this asshole of a character who is destined to save the world. And yeah, he just, I supposedly everybody says this is a really fun book that I need to add to my list and I will just give me some time. I just have a lot of books I read, but number three will be three will be out this week as well. Next, let's talk about Sleeping Beauties, which is one I literally have been sleeping on and did not realize that this book even existed and I want. So we have Sleeping Beauties. What is it? Number four. So I'm a little behind. Basically, it's inspired by Steve, Stephen King and there's like this sickness going around that make women fall asleep, but this character called Eve comes out of the forest and carnage and darkness follows her and the covers just look so creepy. I'm going to share both of them. And I'm like, I need this in my life. I need to find all the other ones and put this on my list. But yes, that'll be out this week as well. 
Next one, which is the one, the biggest one this week, honestly, is Something's Killing the Children, number 13. This is the one that people ordered the most this week. Definitely excited to see, like, Erica and Tommy with this, like, continuing with what they're doing. But, yeah, that's the top one this week. And next one to add is going to be Spawn 313, which everybody kept thinking Spawn was coming out last week, but now it's coming out this week, and it's more of Spawn versus Omega Spawn, and hell on earth and craziness and yeah but i'm gonna share all the covers as well because i love them next we're gonna jump into some marvel and that's gonna be spider woman number seven so yes more reason why i want to throw that in here is because it ties in the king of black but also the peach cover a lot of people were requesting the peach cover i'm not overly like a fan of peach because i just see so much of her work i'm kind of sick of it but i'm gonna share it because a lot of people want it so we already talked about Justice League Dark, we've already talked about Black Adam. But next one, I, one I really don't want to talk about, but I'm going to throw it in here just so you don't miss it. It's going to be Red Hood. What is it? <laughs> Red Hood number 52. I'm going to share both of those covers right here, but I do want to dive into one more DC before I end the DC vibe. And that is going to be Wonder Woman number 7... Hmm, 769. I swear I try to remember all this info, but it never works. But anyways... The reason why I'm excited for that one is because the more I learn about Maxwell, Lord Maxwell, I get excited just because he's he's going to be in the movie and I just, I don't know. I, I feel like I always get pumped when movies come out and they make like their own version of those characters. Anyway, so it's back to being about Liar Liar, which is Maxwell Lord's daughter and Wonder Woman. I just like the way Liar Liar's brain, she's messed up in the head. She's freaking crazy. She's schizophrenic. She literally thinks... Wonder Woman is like this evil queen trying to separate her and her father and craziness and yeah. So I'm I the last couple of issues of Wonder Woman I've surprisingly really enjoyed, so I'll probably be adding that one to my list as well. But let's talk about the last comic on my list. The last, last one. Alright, and the next one on my list is gonna be Undiscovered Country number eleven. So if you are having collecting Undiscovered Country, I know a lot of people have, that'll be out this week as well. But those are all the comments I do want to dive into this week and ones that will be coming out. I do want to end this video with a thank you to someone, a regular at the shop. So right here, thank you to Comics Rabbit, Wabbit, like with a W, for my plunge trade back. So let me show you it here real fast. I am in love. You guys are the best. I have not opened it yet. I appreciate you guys though. So let's, yes. Oh, so let me show you this. This is just, I think the back of the cover is what got my attention the most. Do you see that creature like crawling in her mouth? Or his mouth? Let me see on the inside. Ooh, hoo, hoo. you could just already tell how dark and creepy it's gonna be. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, yeah. So, thank you so much for this book. You guys are the sweetest. I appreciate it. And yeah, but anyways, that's all the comics I do want to dive into this week. All right, you guys. Well, that's the end of my video. That's all I basically want to talk about. But please do that social media thing where you like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one.